Hello everyone, welcome to another day. We're on section 7.7 right now. We're talking about composite functions. Our first four questions on our notes today is more so just dealing with the basic operations of adding functions together, subtracting functions together, multiplying them, and dividing them. So the first one is to find f plus g of x. So what that's saying here, class, is this is f of x, and this is g of x. And we need to add them together. So f plus g of x equals this plus this. Okay, nothing too difficult. The notation might seem difficult, but it's actually a very simple math problem. 2x squared plus 7x plus 2x squared minus an x plus 1. So now we're just adding them together. Okay, we're not solving, any, not solving anything. We're just combining like terms. So 3x squared plus 2x squared is 5x squared. 7x minus 1x is a positive 6x. And then we have our constant term of a positive 1. So that's what we have when we add f plus g of x. That's our answer. We're all done. So nothing too difficult. 5x squared plus 6x. Oh, sorry about that. Minus 1. I don't know what I was thinking. Minus 1 and then minus 1. So very similar to the next one, now instead of adding f plus g of x, it's going to be f minus g of x. So we're going to subtract the two. So f comes first, 3x squared plus 7x, and we're going to subtract g of x, which is 2x squared minus an x minus 1. So the only maybe slightly more difficult step is we have to distribute this negative sign. So now it's going to be a minus 2x squared, a positive x, and a positive 1. 3x squared plus 7x. So our answer now becomes 3x squared minus 2x squared is 1x squared. 7x plus 1x is 8x. And then we have a positive 1. That's what we get when we get f minus g of x. x squared plus 8x plus 1. Let's now try when we multiply f times g of x. So f times g of x happens when we take whatever f of x equals, which is 3x squared minus 2x plus 1, and we multiply it by whatever g of x is, which is x minus 4. So now we're simply going to multiply a trinomial times a binomial. So let's take 3x squared by the binomial, and we would get 3x cubed minus 12x squared. Let's take a negative 2x by the binomial, and then we would get a negative 2x squared and a positive 8x. And then we'll take the 1 times the binomial, and we're going to get positive 1x and a negative 4. So our answer then becomes 3x cubed minus 14x squared plus 9x minus 4. 3x cubed minus 14x squared plus 9x minus 4. That's what happens when you take f times g of x. So we did adding. We did subtracting. We did multiplying. Now we're going to do divided. f divided by g of x. All right, that equals 3 x squared minus 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 4. Now, class, I suppose we could do long division or synthetic division, but we're going to stop here. This is going to be our answer. I just want you to do one more thing when we get to our next chapter test. There's a rule in math. You can never, ever divide by 0. So the denominator cannot equal 0. So if it does equal 0, that would mean x equals 4. So we've got to tell ourselves, x cannot equal 4. So I want your answer to look like this. Write what you have, the numerator divided by the denominator, and then off to the side, put x cannot equal whatever the number is. So in this case, x cannot equal 4. Okay. So it's f divided by g of x 
put f of x in the numerator, g of x in the denominator, and tell me what the denominator cannot be. It cannot be 4 because then you would end up dividing by 0. Let me know if you have any questions when you get to class tomorrow.